Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host Quantum Sniper and we are back in Balmora doing a let's play of Morrowind. Uh, we had a pretty good episode last time. We infiltrated the Fighters Guild and the Mages Guild and we made contact, most importantly, with our spy master, Caius Cassades. And we do have a um, quest that we have to take care of the Spiders Guild. We gotta kill some cave rats. But I saw this. It looks like a little pawnbroker. Yes, it is a pawnbroker over here. So I thought about coming over here and checking it out before we went killing rats. How's that? Outlander, what do you want? What goes on here? Uh, hello, friend. Welcome to Balmore. If you have a question, I'll be happy to answer it. What's your trade? I'm a pawnbroker. I buy your goods and giving you cash on the counter and if at a later date you wish to recover your goods, you need to only pay me what they are worth. With a small profit, of course, for my time in trouble. And she does sell a few things. Okay. What have you got to sell? Well, she's got quite a, quite a bit of stuff. Have you got a mortar and pestle? Journeyman's retort, mortar and pestle. Oh, a hundred. I don't have that kind of money right now. I gotta find some, find some I can steal. Okay. Um, but it all looks good. I don't think I have anything to sell to you. Just offhand. Oh, you can have this lesser soul gem. I have no use for that. Uh, brass tankard. I don't even know where I picked that up from. Although it's pretty good to have a something I can drink out of. I'll keep that. I'll keep that. Lock pick, tax record. Oh, that's the tax record from that guy. Hmm. A dance and fire, chapter six. I don't even know if she's gonna you gonna have the gold for that? You can have that if you want it. No, she doing, she's really trying to jip me, isn't she? I'm gonna stop selling to this lady. All right. I tell you what, I think I can get better prices than that. Um, we're not going to do business after all. But thanks, all the same. Nice little establishment you have here. All right, what's this? Foggy morning. Fog rolling in off the river or something? Outfitter. Outfitter for adventurers, perhaps. I'm Cla listening. Clagius Clanler. I don't believe we've met. Is there something I can do for you? Um, yeah, let's barter. What do you get for sale? Let's see what he's got. Apparel. Common shoes, common pants, stuff like that. Weapons. Eh, not so much, really. Um, magic miscellaneous stuff he's got quite a few of that stuff like that just common stuff common junk you have any torches I could use a torch well candle torch high quality okay I'll, I'll take that I do need a torch I don't need three but I'll take two okay well I wonder if candles will work as well I think candles work in this game right if you need a, a light source alrighty um, or, yeah, he's not going to want to come down on that. All right. Uh, that's good. Uh, I'm going to need the torches, I think. Some of those dungeons were pretty dark. And I do not have cat's eyes. Let's see. I've been in there. I've been in those two places. Those are the guilds. I haven't been here. What is this? Revere Trader. Seems like somebody told me about this guy before. I think he's a fence or something like that. You wish to speak? Revere knows why you are here. You want to buy Revere's famous Daedric weapons. Uh, tell me about those. What? You say these are not Daedric weapons? No, you were right. But Revere is no liar. When you wish it, Revere's fiend demon and devil weapons will be as sharp as fine Daedric 
and as light as Nets Air Sack. The magic lasts a short time, but long enough to punch through the toughest armor. Revere buys them direct from the Telvanni. You'll not find any cheaper in all Balmora. Let's see what you got there, buddy. Apparel. Some Nordic stuff. Alright, uh, weapons. Fiend Katana, Devil Spear. What have you got in the way of axes, my good fellow? Not really seeing anything. Which is quite alright. I just don't think Vadi is going to be a Katana type person. He's, that's, that's, that's not that's not in her makeup, really. I don't think she's going to feel comfortable going down uh, that road. There was an Iron War Axe. That's not better than what, what she's got. Here's his magical stuff. Fiend Tonto. Now, a little short blade like that. It's not so bad. Fiend Katana, no. Spear, no. Demon Tonto. Um, short blade, one-handed. Um, she, she wouldn't necessarily be above using that. Uh, it's an idea to keep in mind, but the kind of prices he wants for this stuff, 3,000 gold pieces. You are insane, my good fellow. So, do you buy, like, stolen stuff? I th bet you do. What about, what will you give me for this A Dance in Fire chapter 6? Well, he gives me even less than the pawnbroker did. Oh my goodness, forget that. I might get a better price uh, if I was wearing my extravagant robe. I think I probably would. Journal of Tar Heel. Directions to Cassades. I better not give him that. <laughs> kind of <laughs> kind of defeat the purpose of being <laughs> clandestine. Okay. <laughs> um, anything else you can tell me? Any rumors? Oh yeah, Solstein. A little secret? If you're thinking of traveling up country near Sheograd or out Molag Amur Way or inside the ghost fence, you need to know about corpus. It's a disease that turns normal creatures into beasts, turns men into twisted mad lumps of flesh, superhumanly strong and full of hatred. You get corpus from fighting with diseased creatures. It's hard to get corpus, but harder to get rid of it. In fact, I hear there is no cure. Well, that does sound very nasty. I'm going to have to keep that in mind because I don't, I don't want to get that. I heard something. I'd like me hopping up the stairs that way there, buddy. Isn't that nice? What's here? Ceramic pitcher. It's pretty nice looking stuff. Oh, he's got stuff over here, too. glass bowl. There was a glass bowl sitting outside near the silt strider. That's his bed. I can't sleep in his bed even though I know that. I wouldn't want to. And this. What you got back here? Hidden? Oh, you do have stuff hidden back here. Wooden chest? I can't. Iron dagger? Silver dagger? Iron short sword? Steel Tanto. Oh man, it's throwing stars. Nordic Iron Helm. Hmm. I've got my eye on the silver dagger. I wonder if I could take that without him freaking out about it. Let's hit save. Quick save. I don't think I can open that chest. What's in this crate? Expensive amulet? An expensive amulet? It's worth some coin. No one is the wiser. Very nice. There's nothing else here that particularly interests me. 
steel tanto but I, I don't really need that okay I, f I feel we did pretty good let's get out of here let's kind of sneak on out of here he's over there he's watching us what's in this crate another expensive amulet hmm let's get out of here I don't think he's he doesn't go back there after a while maybe he won't connect it with us nice we picked that up pretty nice street crates apparently Balmora citizens don't throw gold away in their street crates Jump, jump. Ah, they do. I'll take that. I hope I don't get in trouble for this. Nobody's around. So we have to find this lady Thelus or something cave rats not find anything of particular note in these urns all right I know I haven't checked all of them but that's okay so we're gonna find this lady where's she where's she at where's Thelus Thelus um right there that's her and where am I I am right here Okay, so I go across the bridge, and then on the left, and she should be like the second house down, or about a quarter of the way or something, right? Okay, let's check the house. And on the way, we'll work on some of our skills. It's always good. Jump, 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 jump. Work, work. There we go. Oh, down here. She's, this is right, right? Here we go. More crates. Any gold in them? Oh, it's empty. I wonder if I can store stuff in here too. I think I can. Nobody seems to come along and check them. Uh, this is not her. Couple crates there. That's not her. That's a lady named Carlia. Did I? Find it right? Where am I? I went too far. No, I didn't cross the river. Okay. Alright, I've, I've got to cross the river. Masera. Alright, cross the river. I should be right. I'm come, coming right up on it now. There she is. Hello? Oh, there you are. What is this about? Well, I'm here. Apparently you have a plague of rats. Are you the one they sent to take care of the cave rats? I guess that's me. These rats are such a nuisance. I'm worried they'll eat all of my pillows. You like pillows, don't you, Vidia then? Anyway, I've got one trapped in my bedroom here, and the other two are in my storage area upstairs. Rats, that is. Pil not pillows. Here's the key for that door. There are at least three of these beasts. I hope they haven't gotten into my good pillows. Okay. Well. Uh, some dead rats coming up, lady. If that's what you want. <laughs> I think we can. I hope these aren't like giant monster zombie rats or something. There he is right there. Oh, I, oh my god. These things are serious. Good heavens. Mmm, rat meat. I don't, I don't want any rat meat, to be honest with you. I'm, I think I'm okay with not grabbing any rat meat. Here's our pillows. Got lots of pillows. I guess the rat's been like jumping on them. Or, 
That's nasty. Oh, she has a chest, too. A small chest. I, I'm still working on this rat in here. I'll, I'm going to just cl close the door. I don't, I don't want... I want to make sure none, none others are in here. It's very important when you're dealing with rats. Journeyman's lockpick. Alright. Quick save. Let's open this chest. Nothing, nothing going on in here. I can't open it, and I don't think my my skills not good enough. Oh, I got it. Awesome gold, nice. Okay. All right. I killed that rat in there, and it I'm was waiting. And it was a battle, let me tell you. Um, you say you got two upstairs? I'll go take care of those right away. Upstairs. Where's her upstairs? This must be her storeroom. It is her storeroom. Holy crap! Oh, okay, this, this is, this is not, wait a minute, wait, 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 oh my god, I've got to do some, i got to do some work here, I need, I need some health, for sure, we better drink three of these things, well, these are standard health, I think two, I need a torch, for sure, <laughs> okay <laughs> there we go <laughs> now maybe we can see our way through this <laughs> oh darn <laughs> yes I want my last save game <laughs> that was bad <laughs> Good. okay this was when we were trying to open her chest, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, we have to. I uh, hate to do it, but we gotta go back and <laughs> finish this. We did it last time. We can. We can do it again. Return. Okay. Got to be very quiet. She's. She may be on to us. Let's get it open. There we go. Nice. Take the gold. Very nice. Okay. Now we're going to get out of here. And she's none the wiser. Hello. That, that first episode was just a trial run. <laughs> okay, I'm going to kill the rats now. And I'm going to remember... <laughs> I'm definitely going to remember that I need some serious torch light. All right, let's get prepared here. <laughs> uh, okay, I need a torch, <laughs> obviously. And I tell you what, we're going to pop Wode before we walk in there too. Because I'm just, I am just level one. I'm just, I'm just asking for trouble. But this should do us okay. I think this will be okay. And so now, let's pop. Can I pop? Can I pop my wood? Can I do it? Yeah, there we go. Okay. And, and now I have to go back and put the torch in my hand. Not a problem. Not a problem. I mean, I, oh, I got It would help if I actually put them in my hand. Save. Alright. Let's get these rats. We got this. God damn. Okay, I need a... I need a... Come on. Damn. Oh. 
Put my random number generator together. There we go. Woo! Boy! These rats are some serious... They were giant mutant rats. I think I'll take this gold for my trouble. She's probably too afraid to come up here right now. There's all kinds of... stuff there. Let's just take it. Gotta start doing some alchemy, so I'm gonna start needing some of this stuff. Let's just clean her out. What's that? What is this? Uh, pillow. <laughs> pillows! <laughs> oh god, she's got pillows stored in here. <laughs> More pillows! <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> more pillows. <laughs> okay, here's a little bit of a little bit of gold. Petty soul gem. That's not useful to me. I'll take these ingredients. <laughs> um, more ingredients. Definitely going to grab the gold. Wooden spoon, paper, glass bottle. No, that's not going to be that. Alright, well I think I got most of the stuff. Did I miss... I mean, I probably missed something, but well, I got. I don't see anything up here. Any. Let's get out of here. Woo! Rats. Who knew, right? Of course, we're such a low-level goof. <laughs> Things are tough for us. There we go. Now we're good to go. All right. Um. Yeah, we should be okay. Tough battle. <laughs> All right, well, I killed the rats, lady. I guess we should tell her before we leave. Her. Speak, traveler. Put my weapon away because that helps when you're actually talking to people. Uh, sure, Vidy Vin, go ahead. Okay, rat. I'll take your word that they are dead. Here, take these 100 septums. It's what I agreed to pay the fighters guild. Okay. Thank you very much. What is this about? Nice. So we performed our first our first mission for the Fighters Guild. Not bad. A little tougher than I thought. And just fighting rats. But I guess that's why they call them cave rats. They were a little tough. And I have to find flowers and stuff for Jira. But let's turn this in for the Fighters Guild. Go ahead, I'm listening. Hail! You uh, here for orders? I have a very simple contract to end, and I did that. Did you, you kill the rats? Not bad. For you, you ready for more orders? Yes, I'm ready for more orders. A local egg mine has problem with egg poachers, and you're going to solve those problems. Tell me about these egg poachers. Uh, may sound silly, but those Kwama eggs are among the few things worth exporting from this nasty little province. Drambaro, the owner of Shulk Egg Mine, wants to make an example of these thieves to keep other miners from getting funny ideas. The egg poachers, Savello Othan and Daniela Vallis, are former egg miners and longtime local troublemakers. You can handle that, can't you? Report back when the poachers are dead. Okay. Sounds alright. I guess I can do that. I've got a few minutes if you need something. Um, actually, you don't have anything missing, please. helpful Go ahead. to me, I don't think, right now. Nothing in there is helpful to me. What time is it? 12 p.m. Oh, we've we get, still got half the day. All right, let's go. <clears throat> let's look around Balmora some more. Bookseller. Maybe this guy will give me a better price for the books. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, let's put on our nice clothes. Wanna look nice. There we go. And while we're super at it, let's put this expensive ambulance on. That should help our demeanor as well, right? Put the weapon away. Hello. 
I'm Dorsa Darvel. Welcome to Balmora. We're a house Watlu town. Okay, sounds good. Heard of that. Uh, let's barter. What kind of books and stuff have you got? I got some books for you. Maybe you'll give me some decent prices for them. Would you like a dancing fire? Oh, she's just giving me 68. I don't even remember if that's better than what the other person was giving me. Uh, Journal of Tar Heel. You can have that. Scroll of a Carrion Flight. I'm going to hang on to that. Tax record. I don't need that. What do I need that for? Um, that kind of looks about it, right? She's probably only going to buy books from me anyway. Alrighty. Uh, can you give me 92 drakes for that? She doesn't want to do it. It's not very friendly. Alright, well, goodbye. I'm kind of a jerk. I we need to remember this place in case we ever have to pick up a certain book or something somewhere, right? Let's see what else we got along here. There's something up there. I got lots of little shops and stuff around here. Ooh, the razor hole. Let's check. Let's check this out. The razor hole. What is oh, it's locked. I can't open that. Eight places. I can't open it. Oh, I can't. Some kind of bar or something. It's definitely a bar. What's your story? I'm fine, thank you. What can I do for you? Mm, let's see. I'm not really seeing anything necessarily that you could do. What about a little advice? Uh, the fight is telling me to join the Fighters Guild. But, okay. Yeah. Masera. Wealth beyond measure, Outlander. What's your trade? I'm a lovable rogue. Okay, well, I've met lovable rogues before, and you are quite lovable, I guess. And yes, there's what is it? the Juju clone. <laughs> She's definitely everywhere. Do I know you? You don't know me. Trust me, you don't know me. At least about Mora. That's locked. I'm not opening it. I'm not getting through that. Okay. Some jumping. A uh, tribal manor. Oh. Ah, the Hualu. All right. There's the Hualu house. I'm not really interested in joining the Walu. I want to do Redoran because I've never done that. And that would actually fit uh, Vadia's character a little better. But as a just personal side, I really like the Walu house. I like that kind of skullduggery type thing going I'm on. To share my insights for the right I enjoy I enjoy that a lot. But these are definitely people I could come talk to later on and get to know. And who knows? Maybe stuff will fall through with the Redoran house. The way I play, it is certainly a possibility. Let's see any other flags or anything flapping around. There's just different houses and stuff over here. The Morgue Tong. These are the assassin people. Vadia has heard of them. That might be something she wants to check out. Yes, Outlander? It would definitely fit into her skill set. And she could definitely see the 
um, positive aspects of it. Tell me about the morgue tong. Will you tell me about the morgue tong? <laughs> Maybe she's not going to tell me about the morgue tong. <laughs> uh, your trade. <laughs> I'm an assassin. Killing is my profession. I am discreet, efficient, and reliable. In Morrowind, the assassin's trade is an ancient and honorable profession, restricted by a rigid code of conduct and operating strictly within the law. Because I am discreet, I prefer short blades for swift, close, and personal work, while the marksman weapons like throwing stars and throwing knives are more suitable for stealth and surprise. And that's interesting because uh, Vanya does want to learn about throwing stars so this might actually be something that she needs to dig a little deeper into can you help me i want to join this how can i join this she's not telling me anything i may just have to ask around i'm willing to share my insights for the right price is there like a main person standing around that's the door to Balmora. There has to be a main, main person, right? Somebody in charge? You've got my ear. Let's hear it. Um, nothing right here that I see. They're pretty closed mouthed about their Speak your needs. organization, which definitely makes sense. Uh, yes. Tell me about your trade. Maybe that'll. Um, oh, he's a monk. In mind and spirit, I'm a student of the hidden mysteries of the unseen world that lies behind the objects and ideas of everyday life. In body, I'm a student of the ancient martial arts patterned on the reign of sand fighting styles of elsewhere. I pursue hand-to-hand -hand and unarmored self-defense because what you don't have, you cannot lose. I also train with the blunt weapons called staves because even the poorest peasant can own a staff. To earn my keep, I trained others in my skills. Nice. Very cool. Some nice chests that also happen to be trapped. I'm not going to mess with those. What's up here? I like the red light. That's trapped. And locked too, I think. But it's definitely trapped. She's got an assassin look. What is all, this about? All about her. Oh, yeah, what brings you to the Morg Tong? The Morg Tong is the ancient, traditional Assassin's Guild of the Dunmer. We provide three variants of execution, public, private, and house war. We only recruit candidates of proven skill and honor, and only Grandmaster Eno Hualu in Vivek can authorize new members to join the Morg Tong. Well, I do want to join. How do I find uh, Mr. Hualu? If you wish to join us, you must seek out Eno Hualu, the Grand Master of the Mord Tong in Vivek. All right. So I'm going to have to go to Vivek, probably ask around, because nothing else is opening up, and uh, ask around, and maybe somebody will have some information on how I can join. Okay. I, I like that idea. A spy should certainly have these types of skills. So we're going to do that. Nice. Very nice. Anything else? What else we got going on back here? I don't think we've been over here. What is this? Clothes. Clothier. I don't think we need any clothes. Um... May we barter? What have you got for sale? She got all kinds of stuff. Rings, nice pants, nice shirts, all kinds of pretty good stuff. Um, I don't think I have necessarily anything to give her. Or, well, not give her, but sell to her. She's certainly not going to take any weapons. Uh, I don't see anything in miscellaneous that would necessarily interest her. And I don't want to get rid of my extravagant robe because this is it's part of my cover, right? So we got we have to play this cagey. We have oh, to Outlander. We have, Did you want something? Uh no, thank you, but you have a very nice establishment. We have to um keep our cover intact. Alchemist! Now we've hit Vader. 
this person can definitely help me, I think. Oh, that guard's standing right there, and I saw, I saw all these <laughs> mortar and pestles and stuff. I was like, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> okay, what have you got? Um, a little secret. Uh, let's, what prices do you want for your mortar and pestles? Um, oh, Grandmaster, good heavens. I don't have that kind of, I don't have that kind of dough. We've, okay, we're just going to have to find a place to snitch some. Apprentice's Mortar and Pestle for 100. I only have 560. That's a little pricey for me right now. Calcinator is 10. Okay. The Alembic. Okay, that's 50. Not so bad, I guess. Mm, journeyman's Mortar and Pestle is... 400 of course as it goes up it becomes more expensive right these things are also somewhat heavy so I mean we're not hurting on we're not hurting you on have my attention. armor class or anything right now so much but okay whoa a diamond she has diamonds just sitting around Waiting for someone to come in here at night and take Apprentice's Calcinator. See how heavy these things are? 25. It's crazy. What's up here? Does she have anything up here that I could just... I just want to borrow it. I don't want to steal it. I just want to borrow it. Let's take a look at it. She has a small chest. Shall we? What do you think? Where's my journeyman's lock pick? Okay. Whoops. There we go. Come on, get your lock pick out. Quick save. I should be able to lock this. I locked the last one. Bingo! Holy crap! Three diamonds! Oh my goodness! Whoa! I'm, let's get out of here. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't expect to do that well. And we're not even going to go back down there. We're going to go out this way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> nice. It would probably help if I actually put the lockpick away, right, that I'm carrying around town. <laughs> it might have a... <laughs> put your hands down, Claudia. There you go. Okay, pretty nice. That was alright. Let's see, I think we got one place more to check. What is this? This is a temple or something over here, it looks like. A Dunmer temple. Hmm. Well, Vondia doesn't know too much about Dunmer temples. I'll take a look inside and talk to some people, I guess. Speak, traveler. Uh, I have nothing else on my mind right now. If I start to bore you about Morrowind lore, just let me know. Apparently he does some enchanting. What what do you have to sell? Oh, all kinds of scrolls. Okay. Water spear. Holy tower shield. Shield of light. Shield of the undaunted. Hmm. Vadia feels a little uneasy about some of that magic. Maybe once she gets more accustomed to being around it and seeing it used, she'll feel better about it. She'll feel more comfortable. But as it stands right now, it just kind of squ squ squicks her out. Um, what's your story? He Let's see, what have you got to bar? Potions. Now you will be more helpful because you have potions and I could probably use some potions and stuff later on. And he has a, well, 400. Same price. Not really seeing any difference in the prices. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry about that little hiccup. The game crashed on me, so I had to go back and steal the diamonds. Uh, we're, so we're back in the temple again, and we're coming out. Uh, the game will do that sometimes. You just have to play around it. It's not a big deal. And we are good to go. I'm thinking this episode might be about done. Uh, this will probably be a good place to break, because the next thing... I want to do is go after those egg poachers and that'll take us out into the countryside and that'll be fun so we're gonna just come out here to the gate into Balmora and we'll put on our fighting clothes we'll get out of these fancy rags here you don't want to be going into a quama mine wearing nice clothes I wouldn't think all right so it's looking good right here so let's change our clothes um, Extravagant robe off. Thank you very much. Extravagant shoes. We're gonna put back, put on our. Yeah, we definitely need our shield back and our fur boots. All right, there we go. Now we're good to go. Uh, we are ready for the Quama mine. Hello there, Mr. Silt Strider. Just make sure I don't stay under you in case you decide to relieve yourself. So sorry about the crash, folks, but we're back now and already i want to thank you very much for watching this episode and if you did like it please leave a like and please subscribe and also comment uh, i will see you the next time and we will head out into the countryside i hear it's pretty dangerous out there so but we're we're ready we are we are ready to fight we're we've got um a good kit and we're gonna chop our way to the on my mind and kill those egg poachers. So until then, bye bye.